Newport, Oregon Public Library, and I'm here today with my friend, Pongo. Let's call her name, say, Pongo. Hi, hi friends, I'm Pongo. <laughs> hi, Pongo. Tell me, do you think you could feel a tiny pea under a mattress? A tiny what? <laughs> a pea. It's round and green, and it grows in a pod on a vine. Oh, um, no. What about if it were under a lot of mattresses? Um, no, could you? <laughs> could I? Well, no, I don't think that I could. Do you want to ask your friends? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you could feel a pee under your mattress? Some said no and some said yes. Oh, okay. Well, I have a story about a princess and a pea. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the story of the princess and the pea. Late one night, Sally was out in the rain, and when she saw a castle, she knocked at the castle door. And when the king answered, she said, my name is Princess Sally, and I need some place to get out of this rain. The king took her into the castle, and Sally met the queen and the prince. The queen says, she does not look like a princess. And the prince said, I know a way to find out. The prince found a bed for Sally and put a small, hard pea on the mattress. And then he put a red mattress, an orange mattress, a yellow mattress, a green mattress, a blue mattress, and a purple mattress. The queen had found a dry nightgown for Sally and they all helped her climb up into the bed. Sally had such a hard time sleeping, something hard kept poking her. No matter how she turned over and over. The next morning, the queen, the king, and the prince asked Sally, how did you sleep? Sally said, I didn't sleep a wink. Something hard kept poking and poking. The prince said, Sally is a real princess and I want to marry her. Soon the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. And the pea was kept in a golden case in their castle. And it is still there, unless someone has carried it off. The end. That was a lot of mattresses. <laughs> yes, it was. And so many colors. My favorite was orange because my fur is orange. Oh, good choice. Of course it was orange. But we have to go back to the library now, Pongo. Do you want to say goodbye to your friends? Goodbye, friends. <laughs> goodbye, friends. We'll see you at the library. Library.